Christmas is in the air. Hi, it's Kaylee from Freddy's Girls, and tonight I've uh, put together a video to show you folks how I made these cute Christmas jars. Um, you can do it yourself. And these stocking or wreath, I suppose they could be for wreath hangers. I, uh, I did a refresh on them as well. So I hope you enjoy our video and learn something new. So to begin, I'm taking some DIY paint. Um, you wouldn't have to necessarily use a chalk paint, but what I want to do is uh, just slap a coat on these jars just to give them um, an underbase. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint up all these jars. In the end, I did five. I've only got three here. Uh, what I do like about the DIY paints is um, something I did on the jars here. I distressed the edges a bit. I just love distressing them. Okay. So I'm going to set those aside and pull out my next project. So these are the um, stocking hangers. These are a very heavy duty brass. I think they're brass. So I've got several of them and I'm painting them up a couple of colors. Again, I'm using the DIY chalk paints. So I've got the aviary, the aviary, which is just a lovely green. And then I've also, I'm using the old school. Um, so I'm going to give all of these a first coat. I'm going to go ahead and just coat over everything front and back. Um, and then it's, you know, as you're watching here, you can see it's really interesting to watch this paint dry. It goes on dark and then it um, dries a bit lighter. Um, and it's just that clay based paint. It's just it's so much, so much fun to work with. So yeah, I'm gonna give all of these uh, a good first coat while my jars are drying. Okay, so I'm working back with my jars again. Um, I've gone ahead and found a few Christmassy napkins. Um, and what I'm doing here is just, I'm gonna decoupage these napkins onto the jars. So I'm just pulling them apart first really gently to get rid of that backing. And um, here I am, I'm cutting the napkins to fit my jars. Now if you're not familiar with this technique already, just taking a bit of water um, across the napkin with a paintbrush. And then what this will do is let you tear the napkin so that you've got a nice line there um, which just gives it some more texture and just you know makes the piece a little more interesting so I'm just gonna tear these napkins um, so that they're gonna fit my jars in some cases you know you may have to um, if your napkin's not gonna fit you may have to to make a second little piece to add on um, and you're probably going to want to go on the clean edges too and just add a little bit of water and, and tear those off just so that you've got those, those really nice fun edges um, at the end. So you're going to do these with both your napkins. Well, and then comes the fun part. Um, so I'm just using Mod Podge here. It feels like it's been years <laughs> since I've decoupaged something, so it's, it's fun to get back into it. So you just put a coat on the jar, um, and if you do have to add a little piece in, do that first. Yeah, put a coat of Mod Podge on the jar, you press your napkin on, and then you put a coat all over the jar, and you leave it to dry. Um, it's not rocket science, but um, it's fun. It's very relaxing to do. It's uh, peaceful work. So I go ahead and I do this again with my Noel 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 um, paper too. Um, in the end, I think I did five or six jars, but it's just the exact same process um, with these uh, other designs too. I hope you'll um, I hope you'll give this a shot at home. It's really fun to do and uh, yeah, lovely. 
So while the decoupage is drying, I'm back to my stocking hangers and um, really all I'm doing here is giving them a second coat. So I just go ahead and give everything a nice second coat. That's really all these took, uh, two coats. Next comes the most important step of all, and that's a coffee break. <laughs> I uh, was working on these on a Sunday afternoon, so Sunday afternoon seemed like a good time to have a second cup of coffee. So next I'm back to my jars, and this really is the funnest part of the jars is dressing them up. So I just looked for whatever twines and ribbons I had in the house to make some bows. Um, I had even found some uh, at the dollar store. I had found some lovely wooden Christmas um, little Christmas trucks and snowflakes. Uh, I think they're for like presents, but they're just cute, so cute. So I just, you know, tied up a few bows, put a few candy canes on, and just decorated these jars up. Okay, so we've put our finishing touches on the jars, so now it's time to put the finishing touches on these um, stocking holders. I don't know if they have a, a fancier name than that. <laughs> I should find that out. Um, but yeah, like I said, what I've done here is um, I'm going to finish them off with some DIY wax. So I've used a combination of the, uh, the white wax and the clear wax. In some cases I've used a bit of white wax and clear wax. In others I've used um, just the white wax. Um, so as you guys probably know, Freddy's Girls is made up of my mom and I. Um, and so when we look for these items and we find all of our items at the thrift store, um, we love to look for items that are really textured, that have lots of nooks and crannies, and that's exactly what these stocking stuffers are. Um, so the wax is really just going to accentuate all that detailing. Um, so I, I don't think there's any really fancy technique for applying the wax. Um, you're just going to work it in and then you can come back. You should come back with a cloth and kind of wipe it off after. Um, and uh, you know the, the chalk paints are really porous so the wax really sinks into it so you'll notice especially with the white wax um, it can really um, change the look of things. So, you know, I, my best advice to you is just to play around with it and, and find out what works for you. And you'll notice too on different textures, like if you're doing it on woods versus these metals that I'm working on today, you're going to find, you know, that there's going to be different sorts of, you know, it's going to turn out a little differently. Yeah, so just have fun with it. Um, there you go. Now the other thing I'll mention um, as you're watching me wax is that all of these pieces will be headed to our shop um, at the New Era Emporium. Um, if you follow Freddy's Girls, um, you will have seen that just a week or so ago, um, we did open up a booth at the New Era, New Era Emporium. It's at 296 McDermott in Winnipeg, Winnipeg's Exchange District. Um, so if you are in town, we hope you'll come and check it out. It has got a very, very healthy Christmas section there already. Um, there's something for everyone. We've just been having a ball um, getting Christmas items ready for you. And, uh, and I think I think we'll really, I think that uh, you'll really like checking out the space. Now, if you want to recreate this look yourself, Freddy's Girls is a DIY retailer. So please contact us if you'd like to pick up some wonderful DIY chalk paints. Um, otherwise, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. We're very new to making videos, so we've uh, just decided to venture out. So um, we sure hope we've inspired you to try something yourself or to come out to our shop. Um, we hope you have a wonderful day. Please give us a like and a subscribe. 
See you next time.